My dear Delilah, as I detailed in my previous letter, I have very recently lost all of my items to the depths of the underworld. And due to this rather unfortunate happenstance, I have sped my way down to the underworld as quickly as humanly possible to attempt to retrieve my items before any demonic imps put their filthy little hands on them. Because of the somewhat urgent nature of my re-entering of the underworld, it is quite possible I'm not really prepared for it as much as I maybe should have. In fact, in reflection, not only do I have no weapons or armor to really speak of, I also have no sweet boots and ultimately no way of actually getting out of the underworld even if I were to manage to get to my items. As such, it may not surprise you to learn, my dear Delilah, that my attempted retrieval of lost items was rather unsuccessful. Which brings us rather rapidly to the subject of this letter. Having recently died once more and reincarnated once more, and still being well aware that the time to retrieve my items is no doubt quickly dwindling, I pilfered through all of my treasure chests collected over my adventures in this cursed land and left my makeshift home bound for the underworld once more. This secondary set of armor, my dear Delilah, is by no means anywhere near as good as my primary one. And, of course, their not being as good is the reason that none of these said items are in that primary selection. Which is probably a good thing, because if they were, they too would currently be lost in the underworld. However, their substandard status should hopefully be entirely irrelevant, as if my plan goes entirely to plan, I won't actually need to use any of them. You see, my dear Delilah, among said pilfered items was one that is uniquely helpful for safely descending vast distances. I am, of course, referring to my Featherfall Potion, which moments before jumping into the deep chasm that leads straight down into the underworld, I consumed rather healthily. Utilizing this potion, I not only, much like a feather, control my descent at will, but also, not unlike Tommy the White Ranger in the opening scene of the first Power Rangers movie, I can perfectly aim my landing. And so, in a very similar fashion to the great Mary Poppins, I slowly drifted my way over as far as the chasm would allow, and then, once reaching ground, not unlike Mary Poppins on the moon, I slowly continued to bounce my way over. This method, aside from catching on fire a little bit, worked entirely without a hitch, and briefly after retrieving my items from the rather warm floor of the underworld, I utilized my magic mirror to escape, thereby having managed to traverse the underworld without one seeing a single demon. Imagine that, mighty Delilah, a journey to the underworld back without seeing any of the damned. Now just imagine if, once back home, we were able to adapt a similar method but replacing the underworld with the mole and replacing the demons with the people. I, of course, jest, but not really. And so, as this letter is coming to a close, I must inform you once more, my dear Delilah, that in what is becoming an all-too-common fashion, I am once more descending into the underworld. Hopefully, this time, when I summon the Wall of Flesh, he will actually see fit to turn up.